What's up dudes and dudettes, welcome back, it is the one and only Light Liger here and today we're gonna be talking about simulated mining and what is that exactly for those who are out of the loop, well let me explain. Simulated mining is something that you usually do with your phone where you are mining with your phone but it's not actually using the bandwidth or the electricity or the components of the phone to mine, it's just fake mining so the app is just on and it generates you tokens or coins and there has been a couple of projects like this in the past electronium comes into my mind which was a very promising project in the beginning but then they decided hey in case you want to mine with the phone you gotta do KYC and that was a bad idea because it was supposed to be a coin for the third world and people in third world they don't have passports they don't have papers they don't have utility bills they maybe have that phone maybe don't they don't even have a phone number so they have a limited access to actually fill in the KYC details. So it shit the bed totally and the price has been pretty much going down and down ever since. And then we had Phonium, which was an ERC-20 token and I don't have to explain why Ethereum is a really bad for the third world because the simple gas fees are just too high. Doing a simple transaction, sending tokens to one address to another address can cost you 20 cents, 14 cents. That is a lot of money. In third world to do on every transaction if it's gonna be the coin that's gonna be used on every market every transaction would cost you 10 20 cents that is extremely expensive so having that ethereum component inside it is a bad idea while I did like phonium's apps and their distribution model in terms of their apps and but but it's still not good and that's why mine p came around which was pretty much created by people who were in stanford university bunch of geniuses who came up with this idea let's create a new mining currency that you do with your phone and it's called p network or pi mine p and you can start mining just by downloading the app on your google play store or apple play store i have my link down below when you sign up you just add light liger there and you will be part of the mining crew and when you sign under me you will be getting portion of my rewards as well so you'll be getting much more uh bonus than doing a loan and it is a very simple project so far everything is on beta so all you will be seeing here today all the screenshots and the facts and everything like that it's, it's still like on the beginning and basically you just open the app and click one button and it will be mining for you for the next 24 hours and you have to check in for every 24 hours compared to electronium you have to check in every seven days or so 24 is a very nice system because it will basically reward for people being active and then they on the main screen they basically have news about the project we have seen the faces of the developers they have been on video and everything so it's not going to be an exit scam and obviously there's no ICO, uh, there's no IEO for the project, it's just distributed through the phone. And right now you can't get the currency yet, there's going to be a, some type of a day when they're going to be announcing where everything is distributed. And I like the idea because it's not on Ethereum, it's not a token, it's its own blockchain and it will be secured by this blockchain where people are mining and keeping the app open and this will like obviously help the stability of the project and you know keep the transactions going and everything like that. And this is a very simple easy way to get people into crypto in general and I think that there has been in the past weeks, I think it was two, three weeks ago when I heard about this project first time and I've seen a lot of people talk about it or at least spamming their referral links and that is a sign of something, okay, that there are people actually using the project. I think there's, we already hit the first milestone which was like 100k people and every time there's like a, a, a new wave of people who will sign in, there is a halving process so more people are mining uh, that the actual halving process will go half and we have gone through one halving so far and now is a really good time to get in because after you get in like on the fourth halving or something like that the rewards are going to be pretty small and you, we can maybe consider it as some type of a basic income interest uh, in income I guess maybe you can make a dollar a month by mining with it but that's a nice extra on top of the everything else you can make in crypto it's not gonna be like one one pie is gonna be one dollar I don't definitely think so so it, it has a, a level of scalability that it can actually reach because 
They don't have KYC, they don't have all these bullshits. I think you have to verify your phone number uh, once the distribution starts, so this will kind of like prevent people from scamming the system. Will the mining like last forever? That's a good question. Does it have a max hard cap? I don't know. What are going to be the actual use cases of the project? I mean, so far they have talked about the security, a decentralization in their website. But a lot of the things are still in the very beginning. This is a very beta alpha product. And you should really treat it as such. But the actual investment of getting in the project, you download the app. And then you just click the green button every 24 hours. And it's not really intensively draining uh, the battery of your phone. As I said, it's not using any uh, hardware, uh, you know, of your phone to mine or bandwidth or anything else. So it could be definitely be the next Electronium. There's so many people in the project already. And you can make probably some money once it gets listed on exchange. And right now you want to get in because the rewards are still pretty high. And once you join under me, we can make all money together. And we will be obviously doing maybe future videos about P Network as we get more info what's going on with it. But I'm keeping my eyes on it. I like the branding. I think the app is pretty clean. It's pretty lightweight, as I said already. It seems like a decent project. And but that is pretty much my rundown of P Network so far. You can learn more about it on their website. And if you want to download the app, follow the link down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.